When something is consolidated, do you feel cheated? Because I really don't want you to feel cheated, but I am going to kind of consolidate this whip update for the month of July and the month of August. I actually did come up with like a when I say script, I'm, I'm being very loose with the word script. I try to script out all of my videos just so I know what they're supposed to be about. And then I ramble. I mean, you've seen them. But I did script out um, a whip update for the month of July. And for some reason, it just never happened. I mean, there was a lot going on. And so, um, no, for the month of August. I did one for the month of July, I think. I honestly have like... <laughs> I'm missing some stuff. So this is one that's going to be consolidated. So I, I'm going to say that this is, let's see here. Let me, I think I have some notes. Maybe some notes will help me. Um, let's see here. So yeah, we're basically looking at progress that I made in the month of July and August because I guess I didn't give any updates last time around which means I will still need to update the month of September when that comes around but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it <laughs> so this is going to be a little bit different um, my whip updates are al already pretty kind of vague in you know terms that I give a more thorough update to my Patreon supporters but this one is just like I said it's going to be consolidated so I hope you don't feel cheated. I mean, I literally did not put out a video um, last month. And so I'm putting out this one to make up for the last month or potentially two. I'm totally lost right now on that. <laughs> so anyway, um, my total word count for the month of July and the month of August is low, but at least it's not zero because with everything that I had going on in life, the fact that I was able to write anything, I count a blessing. So my total word count right up front, I'm just going to tell you, was 3,688 words. And I'll explain a little bit of what, what that came from now. So the first thing I will mention is um, I write stuff a lot of times to help me process the world, understand things, work out things, whatever. And so not everything that I write is meant to see the light of day. But if I am writing something that I've never written before, I count that towards my word count because it's still writing. I could have not written that and vegged out on TV, but I didn't. I wrote something, so it counts. So I did write 1,200 words. That's 1,200 words of a story. And it's not really titled, but just for reference purposes, we'll call it Mother. And um it was just me working out a lot of different stuff. Um, it has absolutely nothing to do with my mother. It was just this concept of mother that I was kind of working with. And um, yeah, it was very therapeutic for me, but we'll never likely see the light of day. But I'm still going to count it with my word count. Yes, I am. Um, as far as my ongoing projects, um, I have several, as, as do all writers, I think. Um, I haven't made a lot of progress on a lot of things. A lot of things I just did not attempt to touch at all. And sometimes that's okay to take a step back and say, hey, I'm not going to mess with this right now. So let's see. There are at least three projects where I did not even like attempt to do anything with them in the past two months. And that's okay. Um, the project that I did work on a little bit is I'm still kind of outlining my Mark of Bletsy, and I mean, that's going to be a long work in progress. Um, I'll hopefully one day do one of these whip updates that gives you more information about that, but if you are new to the channel, just know that that's me rewriting my entire Eternal Curse series and turning it into something brand shining and new while still telling the same story. <laughs> so it's complicated. <laughs> um, the other thing is um, I started plotting out these two short stories that have expanded into something else. And so let's talk about The Legend of Mainland. So the last couple of times, I think I mentioned that I am going to finish plotting out The Legend of Mainland and then 
ultimately develop that story into a graphic novel. And so that's what I did. I finally finished it. Um, the conclusion wasn't as many words as I was hoping for, but it's the perfect conclusion for the story that I want to tell. So when I finished plotting out that story, it was 547 words is all I wrote to finish out that story. But again, I'm going to take that entire story and be turning that into a graphic novel. I am going to be meeting with an illustrator that I could potentially be working with. But even if I don't work on this project with that illustrator, me and that illustrator will work on something else and I'll still figure this out at some point down the road. The other story that I um, started out kind of fun, thinking it would be a short story again, realizing once getting into it that it just, just does not work as a short story, it's going to have to be expanded more to really give justice to the story that I've written is the Twilight Moon story. And um, so I wrote 1,604 words in the outline of that. So, so far I've just been plotting that. And before, um, I think my last update, I had approximately 4,500 words of like plot that I had written out. And um, I'm going to hopefully take this 1,604 words of outline and turn that into plot <laughs> that's, you know, going to expand. And then once I have that completed, that is where I will expand it into a novel. This is a different process for me, but I'm kind of excited about it. So anyway, um, uh, let's see here. I am finally going to buckle down and try to release a collection of short stories. I have quite a few fantasy stories and science fiction stories. I've been toying with combining them, but I think I'm going to keep it separate. I'm still working that out. And so I'm going to be reaching out to get some feedback from beta readers on some of the different stories that I have and run the ideas by them to see what they think about, you know, these different like titles and arrangements and things like that. And I'm really excited about that prospect. And let's see here. Um, I wrote two new picture books. <laughs> and when I say wrote, I mean, it's just like the story. I've, I've written two new stories. I still have like illustrated and all that kind of stuff, but 337 words of two new picture books. So I'm very excited about that. And um, if you saw the short that I released about my experience with the Vibe Story Exchange, I'm going to be turning that experience into a Joe and Chip story. I haven't started it yet, but I've been, you know, dabbling little notes here and there and just having the experience. It's not completely over yet, which is why I'm not ready to start writing the story yet. The experience will be complete this weekend coming up. And so once I go through that experience, I'll have the whole experience to be able to figure out how I want to adapt it for Joe and Chip. I think it'll be really cute. And that is the bulk of my whip update. So um, I'm just glad that I actually had something to report. I had something to report last month, but you know, it's crazy. And um, even though, you know, my word count isn't huge, at least I have one, you know, there have been months in the past where I would not write a single word. It was very depressing. So any writing that I do, I count a blessing. And even though 1,200 of my 3,600 um, will never be seen, will never be seen by the public. I still got something out of it. I wrote those words, it was therapeutic for me. And so I'm grateful for that. And I hope to have more and better whip updates for you guys down the road. Um, the, the, the three works that I reported on not doing any updates for, for my sayings um, series, that's my uh, romantic comedy, my Touched by Alma, that's another fantasy series, and then also um, my Margie picture book. I have not um, completed the illustrations for that. So those were the three projects that I didn't really do anything with. So um, that's my whip update for the months of July and August, and I'll hopefully get better at sharing more about my process with you guys. And yeah, I appreciate you taking this journey with me. Stay safe. Be blessed, guys.